Okay, guys, I'm going to give you an example of what we're like. Very overpowered when you're doing the um, Skywars and like Blade Wars and stuff. But if I try to break it, it just can't. Well, actually, no, you can. But it's very hard to do. Anyways, here's the list of commands. So you press um, insert on your keyboard, and it will show it here. As you can see, Shows this. Oh, look at this aimbot. You can change the range. Whoa, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can change the range, the horizontal speed, or whatever. Aim lock, you can lock it on the person. Bow aimbot, silent, predict, visualize, you can change it. So if you want to enable it, you press the left click. If you don't want to enable, if you want to check, change the settings, you press right click. You can pick it. And if you don't want to enable it, you just press left click and get on it. So I'm going to take away things I do not need. Swing. It just makes it look cooler. For example. Look at this. Look at this. What the hell? Okay. Maybe not look cooler. Stop punching. That is the setting. Look. So it's out. And if you're in, for example, um, Sky Wars, right? You're bridging over to the guy. And then you go, oh no, I'm fully going to the void, for example, yeah? Let me change this. And then you're just like, I'm falling into the void. There's this thing called um, anti-void. As you can see, it's in the bottom left corner. Automatically teleports you back up if you fall down more than a certain amount of blocks that you set. So if it's um, eight blocks, oh, I didn't enable it. Eight blocks. Oh no, I felt. But you, where am I? Wait a minute. This is not meant to happen. What? I think I phased it. Oh yeah. That was not meant to happen. Where? Why am I? Okay. Oh. Um. Yeah. Back to where I was saying. You jump off. <gasps> Okay, I need to make this higher. Look, no matter how far is the distance, that's fine. It's like that you're so good at the game. Even when you're looking up, you're just like so good at the game. I'm so good at the game. I'm so good at the game. So let me just set it up to a certain height, and then we can go right back to it. Alright, so I think this is high enough. So look, you jump off. Oh no. You get teleported back up here. Oh no. Nope. For example, you're PvP. You're so good at PvP before. But you just gotta stop moving. It'll teleport you back up here. No matter what you do. Well, there is one thing that you, like, you know. <laughs> anti boy off and then you just go like <laughs> but if you time it and get it right yeah you don't, don't die as you can see i am floating right now because it thinks that there's a block here that's what anti void does this is the stuff that i usually use toggles everything just by clicking on it don't need to show that holy mo actually no, not that. This looks better. Okay. As you can see, I this this is um I'm still learning. HUD show FPS show CPS. I have durability. No, we'll just show FPS and CPS. All right, array list. Color. Uh, we'll make it rainbow, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So this is the stuff I normally use. Scaffold. Highlight. Or just like down. Alright, let's see. What happens if I do this? As you can see, it shows. Stop. And this is how you go down. This is how you go down. It's actually crazy. So if you want to make a staircase down, we adding this slime here on folks. And it kind of looks legit. This is things I use. What is this? And then there's, yeah, we don't, yeah. There's Entity Jesus, most people think, yeah. For Skyboards, you can have like Chest Dealer, set it around, and Chest Aura. It's nice and easy. Yeah, Keystrokes. I can show you Keystrokes. Hello. Still there. Yeah. The door. Right <laughs> Okay, as you can see, I'm now up here because this is really high. I'm just using the uh, casual scaffold just to get up. I saw there's another setting called um, tower. Yeah, there it is. So if I turn this on, motion, what happens? Wow, that that's that's great. Anyways, I'm now up here. I've now found out the use. If <coughs> <coughs> ready, game mode. Yes, so I'm in survival. I have a stack. You just keep going up, so you can like retain the high ground. And then once you're up here, you have scaffold. Because you do scaffold, and just like start flying up. Crazy stuff. I think I'm at. That is um really cool. Yeah, so this is what um this is what uh Minecraft can do. And if you're trying to do armor hard compass uh hard enough um for example you have all the stuff on your fa your face, like you have too many stuff, radar whatever. You have like all this, you don't know you're like annoyed too many stuff you don't need to have gy it's just in the way for no reason this shows your chunks the radar being in the left corner it shows your chunks and what they are i don't think it's that useful <coughs> i mean like you already have eyes and you can like so it's like not that very useful you don't need radar and then you have a uh, the Horizon public sign at the bottom right corner. It's just the worst thing to always stop stuff. Put a mark off. Alright. And then you have the keystrokes. And the FPS and CPS, which is under the keystrokes. This thing called, um, <coughs> you don't need compass either. It's just, you literally have an F3. All coordinates. So you can have armor HUD, which will be um somewhere. Wait, let me just put in some armor. Um, leather. Just for some examples, it just put it on automatically because I have auto. So it's actually not the very use. I can't see it for some reason. Vertical. Let's try that. No, I do not see this. Wait, maybe if it's in here? No. So you do not need armor HUD. If you can fi figure it out and do something, yeah. You can have array list. So the array list is the thing that shows all the um, hacks. You can turn that off. You don't really need it. But if you need help, just figure it out. Click GUI is um pretty much this. So, yeah, I thought it was right in the trash. But it's... Pretty much this, yeah. Click GY. I don't know. It's literally this. Everything here. I've literally shown it. It's merging tiles. You can change it and everything. You don't really need that on. Wait, actually, you do need that on. Because if you turn it off, it just takes you out. HUD. 
So this thing, if I turn it all on, it's the thing in the, wait, let me, HUD editor is the thing you also want to use. So you can show things out the way. So you can actually see something. So this doesn't get in the way. You can move it around. I like putting it here. As you can see, there's um, all the, the IP. The, uh, do this. Never just get that because I'm bored. And then, OBS, RB. I'm just going to get Flynn. Alright, so once you have this, The um, scaffold is in the way. You line it up, you enter. This is a little bit of but you know. Oh, that didn't work, but you know. It's okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, so you're in the nether, it shows in the bottom left corner the overworld, where it is. But it shows the coordinates too, so you might need to watch it. But when you're in the PR, it shows your coordinates and where the nether location is, like where you are in the nether. Your CPS, your FPS, the time, ability, and not, not in real life, but like here. It's too annoying. And yeah, that is exactly um, pretty much everything. That I use. You don't really need any more, but there are some pretty insane ones like Autopod, Anti Crystal, um, Trigger Bot. If you look at something, it destroys it, for example. <laughs> for example, Well, it does work. I don't know why it's working right now. But yeah, that is a question. Then there's reach. You can reach from seven blocks away. Like this. Destroy. And you can destroy your enemies. That is pretty much what you can do. Teams. So if you are in a team, it doesn't aim at your team with the auto clicker and everything. Um, kill aura. Yeah. Hitboxes. Ghost hand. Yeah, it's pretty standard stuff. Time changer, you can change it to a day or stuff. Tracer. This is on um, tracking players. It's like, yeah, but for players. Yeah. So that's something you don't really need. But yeah, it's okay. This is all cool stuff that you can use. So make sure, I highly recommend not using this on servers. You can if you want to. I'm not saying that you it's your choice, not mine. Okay, that's all. And you can uh, look at what you can do on on yourself. It's all listed, so if I go over it, it will be all listed here in this corner. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you. Thank mm -hmm. you.